Today's episode of Podski Address comes to you from Anderson, California. For those of you watching all across North America, that's somewhere between Redding and Red Bluff. And you know what else it is? It is the mecca of salmon fishing in Northern California. What you're gonna see today is the barge hole. It's probably the most famous hole on the entire Sacramento River. Reason being, it's a place where salmon basically come and they hold. So a lot of people come and fish for them, but none as many as today. Now today is August 1st. It's the annual Sacramento River Salmon Opener. And boy, is it an event. You'll notice that even as early as 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, you will see a line of boats. You know, just below the Deschutes Bridge, they'll be down there oh, waiting and waiting and waiting for their turn to launch on this single launch ramp. Now, you'll see that if you look over this bridge, and even when it's completely twilight, there will be dozens upon dozens of boats waiting their turn to get in on the action. Now, fishing season always starts an hour before sunrise. And if you've ever been down here on this monumental day, you'll see that there's not only one boat, there's not two boats. Today, we counted 70 boats at 7 a.m. And I personally counted about 450 anglers. We're almost to legal fishing time here. A lot of these boats have been here <coughs> Oh, over an hour waiting for the opener and we're just rolling up this is a better view of the world famous barge hole there's a lot of excitement out here today when salmon are salmon are around which they are right now you can see the Sun slowly creeping up the horizon over there and legal fishing time has uh, has passed us. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> Make sure that tip with me. <laughs> I just wanted to go over a few things that uh, helped us catch our fish today. Um, one of which is, is wrapping these, uh, these plugs um, using a miracle thread and a fresh sardine wrap. Pretty simple to do. I, I start with a fillet, a sardine fillet, nice fresh fillet. I s cut it down the middle with, a, with a, uh, a pair of scissors and I trim it up to, to fit the plug so it looks real good on the plug and it also balances out on the plug. Now we got the Atlas Mike's Miracle Thread. This stuff is amazing, um, basically knotless. And so I start in the middle and I do a loose wrap. And the reason you put it on loosely is so that you can move it around. And because it's really important that you be able to balance the sardine on your plug so it runs straight when you're, when you're fishing. And so I'll just keep, keep wrapping all the way down until I, I secure the, the very end of the piece by the tail. Then I'm going to push everything around. I'm going to make sure everything's nice and straight. That plug's going to run really well. Now I'm going to go back the other direction. See how this miracle thread just stretches? It preloads against this bait and it just attaches it to this plug. So it's not going anywhere. We're using the uh, K15 size plug today. We got you know almost 11,000 CFS in the Sacramento River, and <clears throat> smaller plugs are nice because uh, you know in the faster current you need a, a lower profile plug so it doesn't dig so hard and work so hard. Uh, we just get better action with the 15s this time of year. I'm just going to do a couple of half hitches. I'm just going to run the miracle thread through a couple times. One of the the uh, amazing features of this stuff. All I have to do is pull it tight and snap it. That'll hold up half hour, 45 minutes. Um, I really like to use the, uh, the uh, crawdad scent and I'm using the Atlas Mike's Crawfish Oil. It's a UV oil and um, I use it not only to freshen up my baits after I bring them in, um, after we, we, we'll pull up at the end of a tail out and go back to the head of the pool, um, it really, it really helps and um, I'll put it on to start with as well. And that oil, that UV, we're fishing deep, 
And that's just gonna penetrate into this sardine meat and salmon loves crawdad, you know. Um, sometimes they, they want a, a, a sardine oil, sometimes they want tuna oil. There's all kinds of cool things that you can put on and Mike's uh, glow sets have it all covered. Oh, a nice one. All right. All right, first fish of the season on the Sacramento. Love it. Nice fish. Now, what we're using is a Shimano Dakota reels. This is a 300 series reel, and um, this is a G Lumis E6X rod. Uh, it's a plug rod, it's HSR series rod, and uh, it's made specifically for hot shot. It's got really stiff backbone, but it's got a really light tip, um, and that allows these plugs to go down there and dig and work and move around the way they need to to attract fish. This equipment is very essential. You know, we're running braided lines. Braided line is important. Today we were fishing in the barge hole in Cottonwood, California. There are 60 boats in the hole. We're fishing right below the boat. One of the ways that we did that is we used eight ounce cannonball sinkers on all of our rods. Whether we're, we're hover fishing with, with a, you know, Potsky Fire Cure Row or we're pulling plugs right below the boat. Otherwise we get all our, all our gear back too far behind the boat and it runs into other anglers gear and everybody's has a has a problem you know with, with getting hung up and making a big mess so weight is really important in the bar troll told you that was the door. yep <laughs> well I gave it to you be careful check your guy make sure there's a little bit of your guy all right got a nice Sacramento River salmon here Oh, gave up one nice fight right in the current. We're gonna keep getting them here. We're having a good time out here this morning. Okay, so one of the other techniques that we used today, uh, fishing the barge hole here, was uh, we're back bouncing or, or hover fishing, suspend fishing, um, Posky Fire Cure Row. Um, we're using red. Uh, red's the standard color on the Sacramento River, and I personally like to enhance it with the uh, fire dye. Okay, the fire dye, we have heavy flows here. Um, the fire dye penetrates, you know, these eggs during the curing process, and they do not wash out. Uh, the membranes will turn white sometimes, but your berries are always going to stay red, and that really makes a difference when you're when you're back bouncing and drifting rope for these salmon. One of the things that that really helps us out with these fish is uh, the addition of firepower. It's a it's a powdered krill. Salmon eat krill in the ocean as part of their main diet, uh, so we like to put them not only in our egg cures, but when we break out of skein and we're on the river and we're we're fishing, I always have some firepower in the boat. And we already got krill in the uh, in the egg cure, but you can never have too much. You can't put too much of this stuff on. So I just put a full coat on top of my egg skein. I'll let it sit there. It also helps dry things out. You get a firmer bait, and when you're side drifting, um, like we do on on other days. Uh, it helps keep your eggs together on your, your hooks a lot better and uh, helps you hook up more fish. Ooh, that's what we like to see. Whoop, 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 keep your whoop, thumb whoop. Off, the, off the line. You could use put it on the frame. Oh, come on. Oh, get it out of the net. I knew we brought Mick for a reason. All right, got another one here on the Sacramento River. Loving it. Opener down here in Sacramento. So this is what they look like and uh, that's how we do it. This is the first time we've ever fished the opener and it's a tradition for most. Matter of fact, a lot of people call it a city of lights on the river. Reason being, everybody's got their lights out there. It's almost pitch dark. You have the sun come up over the horizon. Beautiful skyline there with the, you know, the orange hue and you know it's time to catch salmon here in Northern California. Now, 
lot of people laugh. They go, no way, this isn't for me. It's not for everybody. It's a fun event for anglers to get out there, a little bit of competition, but what we noticed is there were no fights, there was no yelling at each other. Everybody was happy to see other fish caught. Now, all of our fish came today uh, with Jeff Goodwin of Jeff Goodwin's Guide Service, and we caught these fish two ways. You know, most of our fish were caught like they're always caught in the barge hole when there's a lot of boats. You know, you can't really boondoggle, you can't back bounce as well because there's boats everywhere, so you've gotta run plugs. Now, we ran plugs, sardine wrap plugs, like everybody does, and we sent it that with Atlas Mike's Crawfish Glow Oil. And when we weren't doing that, we were kind of hover fishing with Potsky Fire Cure Row, and you'll see Jeff Goodwin, like many anglers on the Sacramento River, know the value of krill. So what we used is Potsky's firepower, and we liberally sprinkled that all over the eggs. You know, anything you can do to make your bait stick out is super important when there's this many anglers out there. Now, the barge hole is always a busy place, but it's never as busy it is on August 1st for the salmon opener here in Northern California. You know, this is one of the most popular places to fish in the state for salmon. It's loaded with salmon and people have a blast catching bright dime colored chrome looking salmon that have come out of the Pacific Ocean and migrated all the way up here to Northern California. <laughs>